This tutorial is going to cover how to do a natural smoky look for daytime. It's a little more fun than just your average everyday eyeshadow. So this is my smoky natural and this is my, oh, completely natural. I already have my foundation on. I'm wearing a Dainty Doll by Jelly Pong Pong in the color ivory and I have my loose powder on. So the first thing I'm going to do to get my smoky look going is use my CoverGirl Perfect Blend Crayon. I use black brown. This is a great neutral color. It's not a harsh black, but it, it, is, it gives you a lot more depth than just a brown. So what I'm going to do is lay it in here, and I'm going to start at the inner corner of my eyelid, and I'm just going to sweep out and just draw it on a little bit. I'm not worried about getting a straight line because I'm going to come back and smudge this out, but I do want to get down to my eyelash line. I'm going to bring it out just a little bit at the corner, and what I do is I turn the eyeliner pencil sideways, and I just lay it against the corner of my lid and bring it in, and that gives me that nice little angle. And then what I'm going to do is take my angle up just under the crease of my eyelid. So I just pushed it up right under my uh, little brow bone here. So when I close my eyes, you can see a really distinctive V shape. I'm also going to come in on bottom and draw it in there. So it's kind of like drawing a little arrow. It's a crooked arrow, but it, it's like a little arrow. So I've done that. Now what I'm going to do is use the bottom end of this eyeliner, and this is one of the reasons I like this liner so well. It's got great creamy write-off, but it also has this awesome little sponge tip. I'm going to come in, and I'm just going to start pushing that liner around, smoothing it out, and really smudging it. The arrow, the little V I drew, I'm going to carry all the way over into the corner of my eyelid. Just bring it up under that brow bone, right in the crease. It looks like I'm pushing my eyelid around a lot. I'm really using a gentle touch. So I've done that, just really smudgy. Smudge it out underneath. Smudge, smudge. Smudging is good. And now I have some depth. So I'm going to put that away. And then I'm going to pick up my eyeshadow kit. Now I bought this at Target. It's a company called Boots. And this little kit is called Number 7. Number 7 comes with three different eyeshadows and three different lip glosses. Really gorgeous colors. A nice uh, soft highlight, a really plummy contour, and then just a, a nice kind of sparkly green. Now, yeah, a lot of makeup artists wait and put the highlight on last. I find that I get a little heavy-handed if I do that. I'll end up, you know, like with white clown makeup here. So I'm not going to do that. I always put my highlight on first. And you'll just have to figure out what works for you there. I am going to bring this all the way up into my eyebrow. And I want to take it all the way down on my lid to where I smudged out that V. So you can see it just makes my brow bone pop. Now I'm going to use the plumier color, the darker color. I'm going to use that over my whole lid. I'm going to cover my entire lid and bring it up over the crease, up over where I smudged out that V. Just make sure I've got my whole lid. And that's good. Lean back and survey. I want to Bring it out at the side just a little bit more, just for balance. And then I'm going to come in and do a little bit under my eye. Okay, next thing, very important. Blend. You want to blend. So I'm just going to go over my eyeshadow with my big blending brush. I use a gigantic powder brush for that. And then I'm going to take my green, just to give this a little pop. I'm going to start in the corner, inside corner of my eye, and just bring it up and over. And that's all I'm going to do with that. Just inside corner, over the crease. And that's done. I'm going to blend it out again. I could put some underneath a little bit, but I don't want to use that much green right now. So once I'm finished with that, I'm going to do a liquid liner on my top lid. Now this you can't just pick up at the grocery store. It's one of the only one of the only things that I buy that you can't. 
and it's Lancome's Art Liner. This is the most incredible liquid liner I've ever found. This color is called Ice Carob, and Ice Carob is a sparkly bronze. And what I love about Art Liner is it's just so easy to use. I'm just going to sweep this on. And again, I'm not really worried about getting a perfectly straight line. I just, I want to get this kind of sparkly color on there. I'm just going to sweep it on. You can see that it just adds a nice little sparkle. Yeah, I'll just bring it up a little bit in the corner. And you can't really see it because it blends in so well with the eyeshadow. Eyelash curler. Hugely important. When you use your eyelash curler, you never want to pinch your actual eyelid. You're just pinching your eyelash, center of the lash, tip of the lash, and don't pull. Just hold and squeeze. Uh, Christy Brinkley tells a story about when she was at the beginning of her career, she didn't know how to use an eyelash curler, and she pulled out all of her eyelashes. She lost a, her first big job in Paris over it. So don't be Christy Brinkley and pull out all your eyelashes. That's done. I just squeeze it for one or two seconds and hold. If you squeeze it and leave it there for too long, you get this really crunchy look. The mascara I'm using is Maybelline's Full and Soft. I love Full and Soft because it gives me a lot of volume without clumping. I've been experimenting with Maybelline's Colossal Express Volume. This is also good, but it tends to flake a little bit. And the other eye uh, mascara that I love is Max Factor's 2000 Calorie. This is a really good stuff. I always use black. Um, I've got really long lashes, but they're thin, and as you can see, they're transparent. So I, I like the black. What I do is I just feather it on. I just use little short strokes to feather this into my eyelashes. When I get to the corners, I use the tip of the wand and it's just light feathery strokes. I never go all the way down to the bottom of my lash. I'm starting at about three quarters of the way. And then if I want to do more, I do it with the tip of the wand. I don't know how much of my background you're picking up. It sounds sad out there. And then I want to put on some mascara on my lower lashes. So I'll just use the tip of my wand to sweep side to side. And that's that. I'm going to do a little bit more on the inner lashes. I like my lashes to be really perky. Something else that I might do once I've let my mascara dry a little bit is I'll come back with my index finger and just hold it up and give it a little extra pump because it's drying. So that's a really natural looking smoky eye. And then to finish things off, I use my Rimmel blush. This is Pink Rose. Pick this up at Walmart, Target. And just my little blush brush. I smile, get it on the apple of my cheeks, and just pull it up. And that's it. Really simple. The only thing left, eyebrow. I use a clear gel to groom my eyebrows and just sweep it up. I like a really nice arch. Just like that. And an easy way to take this look from day to night is to get a black eyeliner and just apply it to the waterline of your eye. gives you a little more depth and smoke and when you've done that you can squint your eyes together and it'll smear it out a little oh that smeared out a little more than I meant to. My q-tip. But this is a good thing to see. It's easy to deal with. Take your q-tip and just roll it over and you're good. So that is a daytime smoky eye turned into a nighttime smoky eye.